Hey everybody, welcome to Wacky Wednesday number 108 on the Mana Leak. I'm John as always, and uh, with Ether Revolt being released, there's nothing super cool going on, there's no cube or anything like that, so we're just going to play some Momir this week. I will of course keep. I am on the draw, which means I'll start playing on two. Uh, if you happen to be new to Momir, we each have this avatar, which says that we uh, have a starting life increased by four, so we're at 24 life. And then we can pay X and discard a card to put a token uh, that is a copy of any creature from Hit Magic's entire history onto the battlefield. So if we pay two mana and throw away a card, we get ourselves a two drop. Who knows what it is? Maybe it's a Tarmogoyf, maybe it's a Bob, maybe it's a uh, uh, two drop from Ether Revolt that I can't think of right now. Let's go with Ether Chaser. Who knows? And of course, our decks are all basic lands. That's the quick gist of it. The other gist, of course, which I often go over, is the strategy of Momir, which is if you're on the draw, you usually start playing on turn two. If you're on the play, you usually start playing on turn three. This guy's not, which is uh, an alternate strategy, but one that I don't really like. Uh, the trick that you're trying to do is to get to eight, because when you get to eight, you get access to the most historically powerful creatures in Magic's entire history. Above eight, and there's a lot of garbage. So we're going to see what we get for two. Our opponent got a core outfitter, which does nothing because there's no equipment going to be happening. We get an Aki Rock Speaker. It's a 1-1. One, one. Uh, and we get a red mana, which we can't use because you can only activate Momir once. So unfortunately, my 1-1 one, one does not tussle with his 2-2, two, two, but they are going to have to take a turn off in order to get to eight. They're going to have to take turn three off or turn four off or turn seven. So yeah, looking at the calendar, there's not too much going on for Wacky Wednesday, really, for the next couple weeks. I'm not sure what I'll fill it up with, but I'll find something. I've got some pretty cool ideas, actually. Um, but then there's going to be Standard Gauntlet, which will probably be the first time I ever do constructed content on the channel. And it's not just any Standard Gauntlet. I believe it's like Flashback Standard Gauntlet, so it's Standard Decks from years ago. So I will have no clue what I'm doing, which is uh, usually pretty par for the course for Wacky Wednesday. All right, we got ourselves a 2-3, and he can mill twice, and that's all that will ever happen. But a 2-3 is not too bad. Attack for 2, I will take it. Save this chump blocker for something a little bit bigger. Drop a 3-drop, what do we get? We get a Mournful Zombie, a 2-1, and I can pay a mana and tap it to give target player, not necessarily me, but probably me, one life. Not great. But I'll trade that with the Outfitter. I'd be fine with that. Opponent is just not skipping a turn. Stitch Wing Scab. So Flyers are extraordinarily powerful in Momir. Extremely powerful. We probably lose if we don't get a Flyer or removal in the next couple of turns. Uh, so I'll, I will trade there, as I said. I'll take two. And come on, Flyer. Come on, flyer. Uh, nope. Although it would have been a great combo with that zombie. Uh, it's a 3-3, three, three, though, so it's going to stop that from attacking. Uh, I should actually have attacked with that Aki Rock Speaker. And that's what Momir does. So Momir might seem really random and strange, but it really helps you uh, look at the battlefield and, yeah, just make sure that you know exactly what's going on. Necro Master Dragon. Okay, so our opponent has a pair of flyers. We're actually just dead in a couple turns. Um, deals combat damage to a player and pay, pay two. If you do, you get a 2 2 zombie uh, and mill. Alright. So he's not going to do that. He's just going to attack for seven. We need a removal or a flyer approximately now. Uh, you look like you fly. You got wings, but you don't. You're a 3 4. Target player names a card that reveals the top card of his or her library. If the card is the named card, that player puts into his or her hand. If it isn't, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll pass the turn. Because that'll just eat that or that. We're going to take 7, go to 10. Our opponent might just not have to skip uh, a turn to get to 8 drops. Soul is Undercar, 6-6 six, six, Reacher. And it can make a 3-3. Three, three. Not going to be necessary. Why don't you fly? This was back from the days of magic where art would have things with wings on them that didn't actually fly. 
there was a bird. I believe it was Whipperwurl. It was just like a normal bird. It looked like a sparrow, or possibly it was a Whipperwurl. That might be a type of bird, and it didn't fly, <laughs> which made no sense. Um, six four discard a card. Volrath the Fallen gets plus X plus X until the turn where X converted. Blah, 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 blah. So nothing. Um, yeah, we uh, we need an answer this turn. Is opponent going to skip their 7 drop? Or are they just going to go for the throat? Looks like they're going to skip their 7 drop. Alright, so we will take 7. You can make a zombie. If you're not going to use your mana. Sounds good. I will discard a pair of swamps. I guess I'll use the Petra Sphinx just because. Uh, me. I'm going to name Mountain. Yay, it was a mountain. I drew it. <laughs> it's not going to do anything for me, but I drew it. All right. I don't know if there's a seven drop that can help me here. I guess um, Platinum Angel could do it. Platinum Angel could definitely do it. Um, but instead we get Silent Sentinel, which blocks one of his flyers, but not the other one. So that is... Let's make him do it. Let's make him attack, but he does have this game. Oh, he's going to make a beast as well. So he's got this game in two different ways. In the air and on the ground. Get greedy and go for the 8 drop. Aww. If you go for the 8 drop, there's the potential of hitting something like um, Denizen of the Deeps, which exa or bounces all of your creatures, or uh, Kedrick Leviathan, which bounces everybody's creatures. But our opponent got lucky on those flyers, unfortunately. So we'll play first, which means we are going to play on three. Because I find two drops are just so ineffectual so often. So let's drop that mountain past the turn. Opponent going for the one drop. Now this is pure greed. Um, yeah, he gets a 1-1. One, one which is going to be outclassed, ideally, by my 3-drop immediately. Uh, and then someday he can go and get a land card and put it in his hand. Not a big deal. Why was that a rare? Oh, I guess it's because it's a land card and not a basic land card. <laughs> Jeez. Those flyers. But at least it's just a 1-1 one, one flyer. And of course, in a format with no spells, Heroic's never going to trigger. So we'll drop our 3-drop. Uh, we get a 3-6. So that should hold him off and or attack pretty darn well. Their 3-drop is Shaman of Forgotten Ways. It is just a 2-3. That is uh, all it will ever be unless he gets to 11 mana, which I... Can't imagine he ever will. So it's just a 2-3. So he's going to hit me for 2. And then I'll make a creature and decide whether or not to attack in with the scab. If my creature blocks effectively, I'll probably attack in with that. <laughs> Opponent took quite a while to read that Shaman of Forgotten Ways, I think. All right, I will take two, and I will make my four drop. And this will determine what we do. It's a 2-2 two -two flyer. Cool. So blocks that very well, blocks that very well. And it'll be removal, perhaps, someday. Um, so yeah, I'll just attack in for three. Sounds good. So he can attack in for two, uh, or he could, could just come in with the entire team, I suppose, if he wanted, and get in for three. 
four drop is another flyer. Jeez. But it is target spell or ability. So if we can get anything that targets that for any reason, we can just exile. I will take two. Let's drop a five drop, see what we can get. Hey, hey, two, three flyer. That's what I like to see. So we'll come in with our three, six again. Pass the turn. Got some stabilization going on here. Opponent still hasn't skipped a turn, and they're going to have to skip a turn to get to eight. A uh, six, two. Big whoop. Biggest of whoops. I guess it stops my uh, headless scab from attacking that well, eh? Sunblast Angel. Destroy all tapped creatures. But there's no tapped creatures. Well, it's still a 4 5 flyer. Um, Alright. I will pass the turn, I suppose. And then we're going to start hitting him in the face in the air for 4. 6 drop. Don't be a good flyer, please. It's a 5-5. Five five. That's all it is. None of my concern. My scab blocks it pretty well. If he comes in with the construct, I'll just kill it with the debaser. He doesn't perfect. Let's get a 7 drop here. Eater of Hope, a 6-4 flyer. Awesome. All right. So, 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 so -y so in for four in the air. And the next turn we're threatening 12 in the air. Seems good. So what does this sack two other creatures destroy target creature? So we need two more damage. Uh, aw, Flyer. Put up to two land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Okay, so that's not going to help him out at all. That is a weird donkey rabbit bee thing. Sliver. Huh? Okay. Um, all right, so it's a 5-4 Flyer. So it's still just going to die to either of these things. got some other options as well actually I could make a small creature sack it and the scab to kill the patron that's threatening an awful lot of damage coming back on the snapback though so let's just make an eight drop here hope for a good one we get a four or seven that's it so I guess I just send the angel and the eater in. I can always minus two, minus two this, make it into a three, two. Yeah, let's see what his blocks are here. It's gonna try to eat the eater and that's it. Um. Yeah, let's not have that be a thing that happens. So he goes to 10. We've got blocks for days and and six in the air, assuming a block next turn. But if he doesn't get another flyer, we can just two in a black and sack, sack, fly in for 10. So no flyer and we win. Uh, I was going to sack that to get a land. Put it into his hand. But he's still just going to be on seven drops. Six drop. Okay. Uh, we win. We win. It's 
going to attack with team here, I assume. Nope. All right. So we win. We go sack two other creatures, destroy target creature. I'm going to destroy that creature. Nothing has reach or flying. Something does have flying. <laughs> I've forgotten about it because it's been so ineffectual. Um, we are not going to do that. We are going to... So what does this do? At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one creature with infect for each poison counter. Ew. Um, all right. All right. All righty, righty, right. I can attack with all my flyers. Yeah, let's drop an 8-drop. Attack with all my flyers. Uh, being very each up, keep you draw a card and lose life. That's less than ideal. Um, or do I leave a blocker back? I think I leave a blocker back. I guess here he double blocks and kills that. Takes four, goes to six. It still leaves him with six in the air. Um, yeah, let's just go in with the two. If he double blocks and kills the eater, I'm okay with that. Okay, keeps a chump blocker back for next turn. Makes sense. All right, I draw a card, lose life. Oh, that's why it's rare. You don't sack the creature. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay, so he gets another card in hand. And is... Okay, now he's going to make a 7 drop. Cool. Phage? Doomgape. 10-10 ten, ten, trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sack a creature. Okay, cool, we win. Because now we do the eater thing and kill that and fly in for a great big bunch. No attack. Cool. I will lose a life. Draw a card. Sack two creatures. Destroy target creature. Only flyer on the field. No reachers. Um, you look like you fly, but you do have little legs. So yeah. Boom, 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 and we'll sack that one, and we'll sack that one. No flyers left alive, so we bash in for the lethals. Got there. All right. All right. Game three. Let's bring this home. Opponent is going to be on the play, I assume. They are indeed, so we will play on two. So the other strategy, of course, is you often play your mountains first because historically the most activated abilities are red. And so you want to have a lot of red available. You also hold off on playing green and blue as much as possible because the most land walkers are in those two colors. And you don't want to randomly just be totally unblocked. That's actually a really good two drop. Whatever creature he plays next has haste. Kind of gross. Come on, two drop. One one flyer. Not great. I'll probably just trade it off with the mauler. What's going to be hasty? A one two. Target creature gets plus x plus x until a turn where x is the number of elves on the battlefield. That could randomly be really gross. Might not even attack with the Mauler or Soul Bond that elf. Or wait, no. Soul Bond the elf and then attack with the Mauler, tap this, make it a 3 2. But he chooses not to. Nor does he attack. Okay, okay. 
He wants something else to be hasty later. Three drop. Ooh, hey, hello, three, four. Yeah, I'll take one damage a turn to have a three, four flyer on turn three. In for one. Um, ew, four, four, pro black. And uh, you can pump a bunch of mana into it to make it much bigger. And it's a changeling, which means it's an elf, which means everything gets plus two, plus two. Wow, this is rapidly going to be very, very, very bad. Very bad. So this is going to be a six, six when it comes in. Oh, or it's going to be a six, six right now. Yeah, I'll take six. And I'll take another one. <laughs> Come on, four drop. Save me. Save me, save me, save me. Uh, a two four. Not great. But it chumps that. So uh, take four. Five drop, save me. Well, I will chump that and you can hit me for four. Five drop, what does he get? Uh, three, three, destroy target land. That's just mean. I will take one. Five drop, save me, please. Uh, three, four. Nope. In for. No, we're not going to win this race. I have to just not attack. So if he comes in with these two, I can like block, block, block. Destroys a land, yep. That is really hurtful in Momir. Just the Colossus, so it's gonna be a six, six, it's gonna be a 12, 12. Chump, doesn't get trampled, right? Five drop, three five, sure. Take one. Well, I'm pretty sure this is now inevitable. Uh, creature your opponent get, get minus one minus, oh. Maybe helps a little bit. Um, I will get in for three. So this will become a three, four, a five, five, six, and then a 10, 11. Yeah, so it'll be a 10, 11. Sure. Opponent really should be doing that at the last possible second. I will jump. I will jump. Pro black. Pro black. Pro black. <laughs> and I'm dead to Serendipifrit. Oops. Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, but I'll see you guys for the next round where we'll play another uh, uh, match and hopefully do better than that and not get uh, randomly screwed by protection. See you guys for round two.